Ravines. Everyone's seen a million of these before. And that's not a bad thing. Ravines are a great early game source of coal, iron, and more often than not an early death. But that doesn't mean we can't make these better. The 1.18 update is adding 3D biomes, which means that certain formations like lush caves will be marked as their own biome. Imagine if the ravine had its own biome with special terrain and a really dope, unique vertical mining village. Join me as we make a custom ravine village from scratch, entirely in vanilla Minecraft. This is Building Better Biomes. Thank you to Georgie Zlatanov, Mr. Tree 818 and Nathan Panjaitan for suggesting this video idea. Right, so let's talk about my ideas. As I mentioned in the intro segment just now, ravines are mostly used for mining. They're also much more vertical than most other structures in the game. Everyone knows that falling into a ravine is an easy death. But other things like villages, ocean monuments, and strongholds don't really take advantage of verticality like this. We should build a village around these two concepts, mining and verticalness. I'm imagining a precarious industrial mining village where villagers are hoisted up and down on pulleys, diving further down the cliff walls to extract the precious resources. They then bring these ores up scaffolding ramps and ladders to their little huts built into the sides of the ravine and held up by giant cranes. So that's pretty cool, but before we do anything, we gotta make some more room in this regular default ravine. It's pretty cool, don't get me wrong, but we need a lot more space in here if we wanna fit all of these funky villager things inside. Let's hop into a cute little time lapse and get this ravine enlarged. We got a big boy ravine, but it still doesn't look great. I want to add in some custom terrain features like big ore deposits, mineshaft tunnels, and overall just make these boring old ravine walls look a tad bit better. So it's back into the time lapse. With all that done and dusted, we're ready to start piling on some of that old-fashioned mining infrastructure. I'm thinking scaffolding, cranes, pulleys, everything else you need to have a large-scale mining operation. Alright, I got a ton of really dope new stuff put in, let's go over it real quick. First things first, these big pulley things. So I wanted to use like the grindstone and the chain design to create some sort of like pulley system where the idea is that they'd be lowering down these big carts and they'd also be pulling up resources uh, once the villagers extract them. So this one is going up, you can see it's completely full of iron. This one is going down and this one is full of TNT. The idea is that the villagers are gonna be over here planting the TNT, blasting some coal out of here and then extracting the coal out of the earth, bringing it back up to the surface. You can see here I've used mainly a spruce wood design with a little bit of andesite to match the grindstone, and the entire thing is put on these two giant log, like, laddery thingies. I don't know what you would call these. And then you can see over on the side here, I've wanted to give the impression that these things, like, move around, like they constantly shift positions, the dirt is all mangled and gnarly and stuff over here compared to, like, the lush green grass. And then the second design I made over here is a smaller crane. This is meant to be a one-person thing. You can see there's a spot here for person where they would be like hoisted down to go extract some resources and then pulled back up once they've got what they needed. So you've got the counterweight here, some scaffolding, and then you got this cool little like spruce base design with the deep slate to act like metal. And then I've got all these different grindstones here because they look so much like pulleys. They are a completely essential block for this kind of building. Love these things, those grindstones. They're amazing. And then last but definitely not least, you probably saw this earlier in the video, but I added in these really cool minecart tunnel designs. Now these things go deep into the mines, so you can't really tell how far in they go. 
just between you and me, they uh, they stop right about there. But anyways, you can see that I've used a whole ton of spruce wood and I tried to make these things as like reinforced as possible. So I've got the logs that are reinforcing the walls and then I've got little bits of scaffolding and gravel and rails and stuff in here for detail. Going in between here, I wanted to use like verticality in some way. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you know, verticality is very important. So I wanted to make sure that both of these minecart tracks, this bigger one and the smaller one over here, incorporated a different height level in some way. So you'll notice that each of these different tunnels is one, two, three, four are all at different heights. And then over here, this one is much closer to the ground. It is actually right beside one of these copper deposits. So there's much less of like a big scaffolding reinforcement sort of thing. And speaking of the scaffolding, I kind of just scattered it around all over the place. You can see there's a little like spidery weird thingy going on here. There's some more of it there. There's some more of it there. Really just throwing it in whenever I felt like it. You know, it doesn't need to serve a specific purpose. It's really just there to add a little bit more detail and complexity to the size of the walls, especially the more bland sections like this bit of wall right here would have been considerably more bland without a little bit of scaffolding crawling up the side, you know what I mean? This ravine is looking quite cool, if I do say so myself, but we're still missing the most important ingredient. Villagers. These little dudes have got to have places to live, right? Wouldn't it be cool if they built houses into the sides of the ravine like dwarves or something? I'm thinking rustic wood huts and reinforced structures both on top of the ravine and poking out from the sides. It's a pretty weird kind of existence, but you know, don't worry about it. Weird homes for weird dudes. Let me walk you guys through the build process a little bit here. Right, so here's the outlines. I'm not gonna do too, too many of these because as you already saw, I've already got a ton of other like mining equipment and scaffolding and random stuff. Now these mainly are gonna come in two categories, the ones that are built into the sides of the cavern like this and the ones that are sitting on top. It's gonna be a pretty even split. You can see I got like one over there and I got one over there and I started working on one over there. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Got two there and got one down there. You know, not too many. I want to have enough places for the villagers to hang out. So yeah, I've outlined these in red concrete. Let's go ahead and let's add in some actual structure. All right, guys, progress update time. First of all, I know I said I was going to put house here, but I thought it would be a lot cuter if I just put a well and a bell. Because, you know, gotta have a bell. But yeah, so I've added in blocks and textures and all that fun stuff on the different houses, and I wanted to take a minute to just kind of look at them real quick, explain my thought process or whatever. So for the bottom ones, I had three, and I wanted to theme each one around a different kind of block. So we got granite over here, we got cobble and andesite over here, and on the far end, we've got diorite. Now, because they were like on the sides of the walls, I thought it would be cool to have like a little bit of a platform ledge kind of thing and also like push them into the wall, like make them like legit caves. Cause you know, villagers living in caves, kind of dope. So this one's more of like a terracotta house with like it's awning and it's straight walls and stuff. But you can see that this one and this one are just like straight up caves kind of neat. Then for the above ground ones, I wanted to make them like log houses to provide a big amount of contrast between the above ground ones and the ones that are literally built into the sides of the ravines like this one right here. So yeah, you know, pretty simple log house design. I'm telling you guys that these are not finished just yet. I'm going to go back and add some more detail and then we're pretty much done. Details are in. Let's talk about them real quick. So for these house designs, I wanted to keep things simple. And before we go any further, I just want to mention that when I'm making a village in one of these Building Better Biomes videos, the end goal is not to make something that could actually work in game as a village. Like, of course, villagers are not going to want to live here. They're not going to survive here. That's not the point. The point is to make something that looks pretty dope. And I think I've been doing that. <laughs> yeah, so with the villages, I really just wanted to keep things simple, right? We got some light, got a bed, got a workstation, got like a little desk area, maybe a little bit of decor, but for the most part, I'm keeping things pretty plain because, you know, villagers live plain lives. So you've seen two of the houses so far that are underground. Here is the third one. It is shared by two people and you can see more of the same right light bed, workstation, a little bit of decor in the form of like a carpet and some candles and plants and all that cool stuff, maybe some scaffolding around the edge. As for the log cabins, I wanted to keep things pretty nice and cozy, right? So we got like a terracotta floor, got some light, decor, workstation, bed, all that fun stuff. And if you wanted to see the very last log cabin, here you go. I actually combined it into one giant house that two villagers share. They just kind of live together. We got the smoker dude and we got the loomer dude. These guys just kind of like to hang out together. 
Okay, we got villager houses in place. That's actually everything we wanted to accomplish. Thank you for sticking with me through this whole build and I hope you like how it turned out. Let's give it a quick little examination in the form of our traditional epic shaders montage. And with that, we're out of video time for today. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. It really helps out my channel a lot more than you would think. Until next time, this has been Leon, and I'll see you all in the next Building Better Biomes video. Peace.